Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and that hard drive is definitely having an issue. So we're going to do some hard drive recovery today. And to do this, you're going to need a, uh, a Torx driver, uh, usually to remove on this laptop drives. Usually it's a, uh, a T6 driver. And then the hidden screw that's underneath the sticker will usually be a slightly smaller. Uh, on this one, it's, it is a T5. Now I want to stress, I am not a hard drive technician. So do this at your own risk. But usually what the problem is, is the uh, heads are stuck on the platter. Usually the laptop drive is not powerful enough to uh, pull it off when, you, when it gets fired back up. Usually a strong jolt is what causes this uh, to get stuck on the platters. And that's exactly what's wrong with this drive. So what we're going to do is uh, you can use this dental pick to pull the heads off. But to do this correctly without causing too much stress to the drive, is there's a screw, there's a torque screw in the middle of the platter. So we're gonna turn the platters at the same time we move uh, the heads off. And we're gonna move them all the way off the drive to the park position. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the platter in a counterclockwise position as I move the heads and then all the way back and now it's free and that's it. Now it's true, you should do this in a clean room because you do introduce dust when you uh, open up the drive. But let me show you something really quick before I put the cover on. Up on the top here, up here, there's a, there's a filter there. And when, the, when this platters spin, any dust that's moving around in there gets caught in that little filter. So if you were to get some dust in there, it'd be my belief that that dust would get caught in that filter. So we're gonna go ahead and put the screws back on and I just go ahead and put them on finger tight uh, because they're supposed to be properly torqued um, but we're not really worrying about that too much because like I said, this is a recovery process and all we want to do is get the drive up and running so we can copy uh, whatever's on it off. And let's go ahead and see what happens. So hopefully within a few more seconds here, the drive should come up. And I do hear it spinning faintly. I don't hear any more clicking sounds. And there it is. It's up and running. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.